Hey, it's been a while, but here's another video that uh, we did today. Uh, we went to Lake Buchanan in Texas, in Hill Country, Texas. So in this video, we're going to cover the ramp, the sandbar, and we did find the, um, the waterfall. So first of all, let's be honest. Th this is going to be an honest review. I'm not going to make it sound like the place was perfect uh, the ramp was a nightmare uh, there were only like three or four boats in line to be dropped off but there's only one drop off for the ramp so it took us about 45 minutes to get uh, the boat on the water and there was no dock so once you get the boat on the water you either park it, I guess, or dock it against the rocks, or you bring it around and you put it in the um, in the little beach that is to the side of the dock. But it was well worth it. Uh, once we got into the lake, uh, it's a pretty big lake so it took us about 20 minutes to get to the sandbar we headed north on the lake and we got to this beautiful sandbar and island sandbar I don't, I don't know if you want to call them either way um, there were a lot of boats there was a lot of, people were really nice I'll tell you that like uh, it's mostly locals I will say this, I didn't notice a lot of people out of the, um, I mean, I didn't ask people, but I, I will guess that most of them were locals. They were very familiar with the lake. I asked directions how to get to the uh, waterfall. And uh, one of the guys that was there with his boat actually offered to guide me to the waterfall. So I follow him uh, all the way to the waterfall. In the middle of the lake, um, depth was probably between 40 and 60. Some places were 80 feet. Uh, so it was really nice cruising. No, there were no concerns about hidden bottom or a rock or nothing like that. But once we got uh, past this sandbar uh, and we started looking for the lake, to, looking for the waterfall, um, you got to go upstream on the Colorado River to get to it. So, past the sandbar, heading north, probably we were going about 20 miles per hour. It took us about 20 minutes to get to the mouth of the Colorado River. And from there on, the depth was about 14 feet. And you got to stay right in the middle of the channel. And there is um, trees, logs, debris, you name it. Luckily, f luckily for me, I was following a guy that, that knew exactly where he was going. And not only that, uh, if you're going without a guide or without somebody showing you the way there there's markers there's green and yellow markers that will show you where the channel is and you just gotta stay right in the middle but um uh the the depths of 14 feet 12 feet uh that they were not it's not something that you want to go 30 miles an hour if you're not familiar with the uh, with 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 the channel you, you might want to take your time so you don't hit a log or hit a or underwater tree or whatever you want to call them but once we got to the waterfall that was amazing I mean like you can look at this shot this is the sandbar and the waterfall was like breathtaking which is coming right up and um, the sandbar I will say that that was the cleanest sand I ever seen I mean there was no no muddy dust I was very concerned at the beginning because all the other videos that I found on on the internet the lake looked pretty muddy and dirty but here is 
the waterfall. Beautiful. And that water was dirty. I'll t I, w I won't lie to you. But you got to keep in, keep in mind that the lake was at 95% capacity or something like that. So it's been raining or it, like it was raining a lot during the spring. Uh, this video was taken today, September 2nd. So it's at the end of the summer and um, there was still a lot of water coming down and the water was uh, the, the, the water was kind of muddy. And do you see those trees all the way in the background? That's what I was talking about. There's trees sticking out of the water and uh, it was a little bit scary to uh, drive your boat there since I wasn't familiar with the uh, with the area. But uh, long story short, we had a lot of fun. I will say that if you decide to go to Lake Buchanan, uh, definitely do not miss out on the waterfall. And um, there, the, the sandbars were amazing. The ramp was a headache. Uh, I was lucky, like I said, there were only three boats trying to be docked, uh, trying to dock, I mean, trying to, to be launched or coming back from from the lake at the moment that I went there but uh, if it would have been more boats uh, you we probably would have waited an hour to to be to launch now that's the only ramp that I know the uh, the one on Yano State Park um, like I said it's my first trip there so if you look on the map there's other ones but none of them look exactly developed like i said this was like the biggest one on on satellite on the map and like it was only one lane so hope you enjoyed this video hopefully it was informative for you we had tons of fun it's well worth it the drive um just keep in mind that um the ramp will be a problem and the lake is amazing it's pretty big so thank you for watching and have a great day or great trip and i hope you enjoy the video